Kia ora, good evening. Welcome to the show The Scoots of Truth from the Honeypot about the people who represent the people and our parliament, what they're up to in white matters. I'm Conan Tahu. And I'm Ernest Key. This is I the Hive. There was panic across the nation today after news from the Beehive of a law to ban the internet. Why? Because too much time is wasted on it. Here is our reporter, Tama Tahiri. Well, yes, in an almost empty house today, the Minister for Statements and Announcements declared plans for a new ban to the internet, to the internet n nationwide. This could send the country back to the last century in terms of progress. What does the government hope to achieve in, with this law, apart from making themselves unpopular with anyone born after 1990? We'll bring you more information after, as it comes to hand. Back to you, Conan and Otis. Yes, it all seems unusual. Let's have a look at the speech the Minister made in the, the, in the House earlier today. Mr Speaker, this bill to ban the internet will have many benefits. Without the distraction of the internet, people will play more sports, talk to each other, exercise more and become generally smart, more smart. The internet is turning our minds to slush and we are becoming squared eyes, sofa potatoes, obsessed with funny cat videos. Banning the internet will have lasting benefits, not only for our children, but for our children's children's children. And we, and we understand the Minister for Statements and Announcements has just gone on an emergency holiday and is unavailable to the media and what does the Prime Minister have to say all about it? Our reporter Tom T. Davis was at the PN's press conference earlier today. Hello everyone, thanks for coming. I want to address the speculation around the ban the internet bill. At this point, no decision has been made. Either way, it's safe to say that going forward, we will definitely not be looking backward. Any word on the Minister for Statements and Announcements who has gone on holiday? This is just a hard-working minister who's gone away on a long overdue holiday. I wouldn't read too much into it. When can we expect this legislation to be put before the House? It'll be put before the House after we've considered the, health, the issue. We're looking at finding the, a middle ground, which I don't think will be too much over the top. I, under the, over the circumstances. No more questions. Thanks for coming. Oh my God. Here at Isle of the Hive, we've heard rumblings of the government digging up the old political hot potato of changing the voting age. Some are saying that lowering the voting age from 18 to 12 could gain around half a million new voters. Not exactly a small fright. Packing down on the tight side of the media scrub is our reporter, Cooper Shufford. Yes, I'm... Yes, I am warming up for the media scrum. It is just about to happen here as we await the Honourable Minister of various things. Minister, is it true that you're having a discussion about changing the voting age? To Will there be an announcement soon? Announcement is always a possibility. Could the voting age could be changed from 18 to 12 to catch a vote? Well, when I was 12, all I wanted to do was climb trees and look at comics. But most though, the question is, will it change in your opinion? Anything can change. I even changed my shoes this morning since I was going to do a lot of walking. Now, excuse me. Okay, the minister isn't giving anything away at this stage. Will you know what we know when we know it back to you? Now it's time for Eye on the Hive by-election live special. Tonight we are looking at a by-election for the seat of Tukopuru School. There are three parties have provided candidates who are eager to win your vote. The square party candidate feels that more square dancing is needed. The peer party candidate believes that the peer pies the key to a healthy life and the bear party claims that you're more happy when you're drunk. Leading the debate is our reporter, Tamo. Good evening everybody and welcome to Meet the Candidates Debate. To Shire, what are you going to bring the people of Tukopuru? Why should they vote for you? Well, if you vote for the square party, you'll get more things to play in, in the shape of a square and more square dancing. 
And Ginny, how do you respond to that? Why should the people of Te Kōpuru elect you to Parliament? Well, I think if you vote for me, you'll get a life supply of free pears and pear pies and be really healthy. What do you what do you see as the big issue for both the country and for and for the electorate? Wisely, if you vote for me, my party, well, the bear party, is just better if you're drunk. You know what I mean. Well, thank you very much for coming along. Good luck to you all. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> now it is over to Keisha and Tamsi with a quick look at the political forecast based on the eye of the hive. Political pop. Well, thanks, Otis. We asked people what they believe is the most pressing issue in the coming election, and the results are in. 30% of those surveyed said housing. 45% said more TikTok for students. 15% said more homework for students, with 10% saying they did not know. And now, to the latest political opinion poll. The Square Party tracking at a healthy zero, up by two. The Pear Party with five. The Bear Party with one leader. And the Swag Party, no, all at half time, with 15% saying they still do not know. So at this stage, it's fair to say this is still anyone's election. Back to the studio. Thank you. Finally, I'd like to end, we'd like to end on a positive note. So tonight, Feel Good Political Story involves one of our elected representatives showing the people exactly what they made of. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm here with Tashaya Matahira, popular MPs from the TikTok party who are here to demonstrate that members of parliament are not boring, do lads with no sense of fun. Oh, wait. So what are, you gonna, what are you going to be doing for us today? Well, we are going to show you how to do TikTok. Well, that's enough of that. Back to you in the studio. Well, there you go. And that's another day in Parliament. They see a week is a long time in the politics. All the more reason to keep an eye on the hive. Poor Maria. Good night. My name's Otis. And my name's Conan.